Hello everybody, it's me Sam here from Whoopi Gaming and today I'm going to show you how to use and install the Bycraft plugin for Bucket. Now, as I always start my plugin tutorials, what is Bycraft? Bycraft is basically a website with a plugin integration which allows you to sell packages, which is like a group of items in game, uh, via PayPal. Um, let me explain that. So, for instance, we can have a web, uh, web store on a on the bycraft.net forums your users can go on this and they'll see some packages and packages are groups of um, items for instance I could have like a, a diamond block or 100 diamond blocks and then I can charge a price for it and then I can buy these prices your users will type in their username there and buy it via uh, PayPal and then they'll receive the items in game so I'll go over that as well but I'm going to show you how to use and install it first and so on. So you're going to go to bucket dev link and here we'll have all the stuff. So we actually need to go to bycraft.net so and sign up. So on the top right we have a server panel, we want to click that. Uh, we haven't made an account yet so we're going to register a new one. This will be your email address, I'm going to hide it probably, hopefully or maybe not, I don't know. And then the password. Let's change that. So, username, uh, email, password, and then the capture code. So, I can never read them. That, that seems right. 201 M S T E D N T. And then click register. And hopefully, your passwords will match. <laughs> I'll just type it in again quickly. Well, that's a nice easy one. But and alarm that. Hit register. So now your account is successfully created. You don't have to uh, confirm your email. So you just type it in straight away. If I can remember my password, I just put in yeah, right and then hit login. And voila! We have been logged in, and this is the dashboard, and there's all these things at the top. Okay, so welcome to the Bycraft panel. This is where you can do everything. So, we're going to hit settings, server. Now, these are the settings for your server. So, when uh, people buy stuff, packages, they'll see these things. So, you can put in what you want. So, for instance, I'm going to put in Sankyo's. Put it without any punctuation. Uh, website support so that we're just going to put gaming.com and then email support. So these are just what uh, will show up in the, when the people are buying it. If there's any queries or questions or issues with buying the uh, the product, then you can uh, consolidate here. These are just fake ones. Uh, they're not real. I don't own them. Okay, so there we are. Uh, API secret, we'll go over how to use that in a minute. Uh, by hitting reset, you can change your API. So, well, I'll go over that later. Payment options now. So, you need to set up one. So, at the moment there is PayPal and one VIP. So you can choose either both of them or one of them. But you're gonna want to, uh, well I'm gonna do PayPal. So I'm going to put in my PayPal details. I'll probably hide this as well. Uh, so okay, so that's done. But we need to do, we need to add a IPN to the PayPal account. So we go PayPal.com and log in with your PayPal account. Log in. So I'll hide this. You all know how to log in to HEP and to PayPal. You don't well then so just log in okay so once you log into PayPal you want to go to my account and then go to history IPN history it's a dodgy place to put it if you ask me and then you're going to want to turn on IPN And then you want to paste, copy and paste the URL which it gives you here into 
your this bit here and then you can turn on receive IPM messages save so we are it's just saying notification URL message delivery enabled so there we are that's all good and if you just go on the history page there's nothing there but there you go um, what I'm going to say is if you need to make sure you do that step if you don't do that step it will not work it will not work you need to do that so if you fail to do that then and you're questioning why doesn't it work go back and make sure it's correct okay so that's how you do it uh, you have to do a similar thing with the one VIP obviously I don't have a one VIP account but it's a similar thing so there you go you just randomly create an API key okay so now you want to go to your packages overview now there'll be no packages at the moment because we haven't added any so we're going to add one now so hit add package on the right here so these this is what we're going to go over how to add a package so first of all the description this is what people know uh, basically what it is so we're going to make a VIP package so we're going to VIP for a month alright okay and then this is the currency so you choose whatever our currency your main server is doing you've got Canadian dollars US dollars euro uh, we can choose Great British pound uh, the price so this is how much it will cost so I'm going to say a pound and how long uh, it will last so they're going to have VIP a month so I'm going to have it as 30 days kind of you know, average out the months so they get VIP for a month but how on earth do you do, you do it well, basically, the uh, Bycraft will run commands on the server, and it will just, just, just um, run the commands when they buy it. So, first of all, we want to uh, update their thing. So, the way you do is do permission. Well, it depends on the command of the plugin. You need ex other external plugins to do this. You can't just go oh, permissions update whatever. So we're going to make a f kind of fake command, but we're going to say permissions. Uh, let's do group, and then the name. So the way you insert the player's name, you do two curly brackets, and then input name in between. And this is what uh, their Minecraft username will be placed in that section. And then we'll just do the VIP. So that's not a real command, but you can see how it's structure it so you don't have the slash in front you don't need that and then expiring account so this will happen after 30 days of purchase so we're just going to put in permissions group name and then we're just going to put normal or something like that so then they'll go for VIP for a month and then they'll just go back to being a normal group once they've paid for it in a month okay uh, to add, for instance, items, to give them items, you just use give name and then how much, much well, the ID of the item. Uh, let's give them stone and then how much of the item. So give them 64 stone. So, as well as becoming VIP, they also get 64 stone. But, you know, this is just an example just to show you how to give people stuff. Then add package. And there you go, you should see it on the uh, list here. So you can edit this, uh, make sure you save changes. Uh, you can delete it. Oh, where'd it go? No. Over, over you. you can delete it if you want to, and uh, or not. So the more you add, the, the longer this list will be. I'm just going to, this is just one example. What you know to um, add one, do loads. Okay, payments overview. There's been no purchases yet. So once people will buy stuff, that will come up there. And now we're actually going to integrate it with our server. So first of all, we're going to hit download. So you have a bycraft.jar. We're going to drag this into our plugins directory. Okay, so we're going to run the server up. 
Oh dear. No, I've not found those words. It's strange, it's very, very strange. Let me just stop the server. And reload it. I don't know what that was. Possibly a bug or bucket. There we go. So, it has created a file for us in the Bycraft YML. We need to open that up. I'm using WordPad. And here we go. So, let's just go over this configuration. For this configuration for Bycraft, uh, so we need to put in our API secret key. So you noticed before when we went on settings, server, there is an API secret key that we can reset. So you want to copy that and paste it where it says secret and save the file. Okay, so there we go that's how you add a secret. Now if this is given to like a random server, I don't know, someone hacked in your server and stole the secret key and started uh, getting money for your purchase or whatnot, you can just reset that and copy in the new API key. So there you go. Uh, so there are three commands available. You can choose what is used uh, in game to buy stuff. Uh, for this case the default is buy. You also use donate and purchase make sure they're lowercase. Uh, there might be other plugins that use the buy command and so you might want to change it. But I was going to leave it as buy. So now if we reload, it goes bycraft version 2.9 for enabled or whatever version. And as you see before we said I uh, could not find the uh, account but now we have connected with it so that's all good. It's good, 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 good. Okay so that is that. Uh, now we're going to go in game and purchase some packages or at least show you. Uh, in the essence of time, I'm just going to just use it via Comtas to just record like this. If I zoom in, right. So, localhost. Okay, so I'm in a dodgy place, right. So in our world, that's all nice. So we're going to do slash buy. Okay, so this will just show all the packages that are on your ID, on your uh, Bycroft on there. And, oops. And there we go. So you can see all the packages. At the moment, there's only one, which is VIP for a month and one pound. So if we just talk, blah, 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 nothing happens because we're in Bycraft mode, as if it were. So just type EC to uh, get back out of the chat. So we're going to go back into it. And now we're going to do slash buy one. And there we go. So it says, please visit is dot good mnj whatever. Please visit the link above and then we can pay for your transaction. So Let's go to that link above. So it was is dot good slash m seven x is j. Now this link will expire after so much time. Okay, so there we go. We can see our detail. So Minecraft username Sam Kyo. We'll just set my my naming game. Uh, package description VIP for a month price a pound, uh, it's removed after 30 days and there's also the contact details that we put in earlier in the website and the uh, email. So by purchasing you read the payment agreement so just read that uh, if you're going to buy something and hit buy now. This is what your users will do by the way to buy stuff. Uh, you can see the packages in the summer uh, in summary and then we're just going to buy this so I log in with PayPal, I'm not sure how this works because it's going from my PayPal to my PayPal yeah it won't work because I'm logging in from my seller to the buyer which just doesn't work uh, but it's basically if you purchase it with another account 
which of course would be a number account. And the transactions go straight to your PayPal account, straight your pound, one pound will go straight from uh, theirs to yours, and they'll receive the items again. So there used to be a command slash buy for claim, but you don't have to do that anymore. As soon as the payment has been done, the server will be notified, and your items or whatever you've done with the commands will be done in game. Okay, and that concludes today's tutorial. Um, just another note, there is a premium background. So you can purchase a one-off payment of £4.39 and you get some benefits. So there's not these, the adverts are removed. Uh, you get unlimited amount of packages, you get more commands and you even get a web store. So hey, that's pretty good. So if you're interested and you like the plugin, it's only £4.39, a little extra could uh, help your server. So that's that. Um, of course, once you've done payments, you'll see them there as I've described. And if there's any problems that I haven't gone over, you can go over. Uh, there's a ticket system on the uh, Bucket Dev which you can use there. So if you have any problems, I'm sure they'll be happy to help you. Okay, so that concludes today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been me, Sam Group Gaming, signing out.